Hey everybody, back again. Um, just gonna do a quick little video here, a little update video on what's going on with um, with this DNA 200 build. All right. Now, if you've seen my other videos and you're following along, you probably already know I was attempting to do dual 18650 uh, and run this, you know, dual 18650 in series and run this at the 130 watts. Now, unfortunately, at this moment in time. I don't have access to a computer directly, uh, so I've been going over to my buddy's uh, shop, uh, Vapor Shop, and trying out eScribe and seeing what's going on. And I was gonna, um, you know, do a video showing what you need to do in eScribe, how to get it set up for that. Now, with that said, I ran into some major issues. All right, I had it hooked up just the way I left it at the end of the video, and it was powering on. Okay, so I took it over, plugged it into the computer, and started getting into the settings. I was able to change it to 2S, uh, you know, upload the curve uh, that I found through the forum, you know, did everything I needed to do. Upload it to the board, and it, you know, it kept saying right on the screen, um, you know, uploading settings, blah, blah, blah. Nothing. Every time you'd hit the button, check battery, check battery, check battery, check battery. It's like it wasn't taken... The settings or couldn't figure it out so I actually sent an evolve an email and uh, which is this is really cool um, got an email back got a phone number uh, called Brandon from evolve uh, you know some of you guys may have seen him through different videos or whatever the case but so I called him on his phone talked to him for about a half hour going through all the different issues things that could happen and uh, you know he said he had one running in an opus D uh, the 18650 you know, again, it's possible. I just couldn't get it to work. Uh, you know, I went back through the battery tray and did some of the things that he suggested I do, and I just wasn't having any luck. So I, I don't know if it's the board, maybe, or whatever the case. All right, so with that said, option number two, uh, option I went with. So on Evolve's website, all right, they're selling uh, this battery here, okay? If you can see. Um... 900 milliamp hour, okay, this is the battery that they're selling, so obviously they recommend, all right, 10 watt hours, okay, 3S LiPo, 11.1 volts, all right, now it's already rigged up with the tap, and uh, this came with without no connection on it, all right, it just came like this, you know, just the wires, so I went ahead and did is I got this, um, these are XT... Let's see what that is. XT30 connectors. I think they call them banana plugs. All right, and connected these up. Now you want to put your female on your battery, all right, and your male on your connection. So if you watch my last video, before I put the battery tray in, I had you know the, the battery input lead. Uh, nothing changed with the atomizer connector. That stayed the same. All right, 14 gauge. That's all there. All right. Now what I actually had to do, right, if you follow my first video, okay, this tap, all right, remember I made mention of the ground, making sure the ground lead, all right, that's on the right, which would be here, this first pin on the back, meets up with the black on your tap, okay, so now this tap was completely backwards. All right, I had it the other way, so it would plug in this direction, and if you could see, ground is all the way on the right, far right. Ground is on, you know, that would be plugging into the pin 3. That's going to fry it up, most likely. All right, it's going to be backwards, and I, I, it's most likely not going to work. I'm not going to try it, that's for damn sure. So what I had to do, first thing, okay, first thing is I had to desolder all these tabs. You know, I took this back out, desoldered the tabs, okay, flip this connector around all right flip the connector around I cut out the battery tray so I was left with this and like this so now it's really simple it actually is super simple to connect this all up so the first thing I'm going to do now I've already had this hooked up but I just wanted to show so we're going to connect connect the tap in here So that's snapped in. 
All right, I'm just going to roll this around in here. All right, so now we're left with something like that. Now, this, this battery's got tons of space in here, plenty of room. It actually just barely fits this direction, but as far as, you know, at some point, I'm going to attempt to get a bigger LiPo in here. Uh, you know, if I do a little bit, some changing of this lead here, squish it around, I'm thinking I could get a, a way bigger battery in here. But at least for the time being, I want to get this running and see see what we get. So now at this point, you made this connection. Make sure you're, okay, you're negative and negatives. All right, everything lines up nice and kosher. Boom, plug it in. All right, so now all I'm going to do is just tuck all this down in here. So now we're left with something like that. All right. So now, effectively, for now, you know, I, once I'm once I get this all figured out and I got it working, I'm going to double side tape this in, you know, so that that doesn't move. And that's really it. That's all I need to do with that. Okay. Let's throw the cap on. So let's come back around here. So like I said, make sure you know you got this all these taps soldered correctly. So I just wanted to show you that. So we're gonna put the screen down, and I'm just gonna throw this back on here, and just to keep everything kosher. Now I actually I ordered the buttons. I have the buttons coming. I should have have them next week. The buttons that go in these holes, so we can get that straightened out. Uh, let's see. For the time being, let's just hit it with this guy. All right. So now. If you're paying attention here, you can see we got the. Uh, it's reading the battery percentage now. All right, it'll stay. Ooh, it'll stay lit up. All right, it won't shut off like it was before. All right, check atomizer. Now I'm actually still having a problem. Okay, it won't. It's not firing. I'll just throw this on here for purposes of this. So now I'm not sure. I'm going to assume that I need to get back on and change it all back to 3S now. Because again, it's still reading check battery. I can't figure this out. So it was doing the same thing with um, with the 218650s after I ran through eScribe. But the issue was it would come up, say check battery, and then shut right off. Power down. Like it wasn't getting enough power. So that led me to led me to believe that it wasn't taking the 2S setting. I don't know. Now it seems to me that it's stuck in 2S, and it, I, I'm not sure. I got to get it back in the East Grab and see what happens. It's possibly that my board is no good because at this point the battery is hard connected in there. There's nothing with it. All right. So it's obviously correct because it's reading the 69%. All right. It said check atomizer, and now it's saying check battery, so it's definitely getting the atomizer connection. So there's still something up with the battery set setting in here, how, how this is worked up. All right, so that's my update. We're back uh, back to a LiPo now, just to try to get this thing running. It seemed like this was a lot easier to start with, but here we are. So I'll uh, try to get this worked out and uh, upload the results when we get to them. All right, everybody. Thanks.